The next one down is the Lake uh, Fion tank. Uh, that's called a, uh, uh, an 11 39 uh, medium tank. Uh, then the heavier tank, the 1340. These again are all Italian tanks. And that's the 1543, that's how they numbered them. The uh, aircraft that they had, we don't have to really talk about it, you can read different. Uh, by the way, if any of you want a set of these slides on a piece of paper that I mentioned you had earlier, put your name on it with an email address and I'll email it to you. Or you can, my email address is on that paper and you can later email me directly and I'll return it to you. But you can see all these names on that. That's not the most important thing tonight. But then we get into the British, and you recognize the hurricane and the Spitfire. And as we were attacking those Vichy navies, the, uh, uh, the uh, fairly uh, swordfish from the British carriers is very important. Uh, <clears throat> the British had the light tank, Mark IV, uh, uh, Mark IV uh, a cruiser tank, which was a medium tank, and what they called the infantry tank. These were their heavy tanks. They didn't use the term medium, light, and heavy. They used the terms infantry tank for heavy tanks and cruiser tanks for the uh, uh, medium tanks. And uh, armored cars, a lot of armored cars. So Italy started then on 13th of September with those kind of uh, goods. But uh, by the end of the year, they're all gone. This is a quick look at some of the gear that the Italians came into the uh, campaign with. And off to the right, they're marching with it, with that gear on. And the text I got this from showed this next picture. It said, that's how he wore some ended up. So the Italians fared, fared very badly. And by comparison, there's a group of equipment that, that the African Corps would have used. Okay, so here we go. So Graziani, and there's his picture, he attacks from his positions uh, <clears throat> at, if you see those little red things going up, those are the points or places where Graziano was strong. And from those positions, he attacked with 250,000 men, 100 tanks, 750 artillery pieces. In other words, a huge amount of equipment. And he greatly outnumbered the uh, British. But on the 19th of September in 40, his own troops stopped where that circle is. You see that? That's important. That circle right there. There. And that's significant. I've got to point that out. That's where he stopped. <laughs> the only thing I wanted to point out there, you can barely see it. But see these little circles that within the big circle? There's one, two, three, four, and five. Those were encampments. He took those 250,000 men and put them into those camps. He even ran a 40 mile long pipeline that connected the camps for water. What he'd bring in water. That's how they got their water. So he was planning on staying a while. But the thing that he erred on was that those last two camps on the south side were 20 miles apart. He didn't have the foresight to see that there was troops between them. Well, the British, of course, noticed that. And they said, my God, we can go right through there at night. They never know it. And that's what the British did. I noticed the encampments there. The British were back to the right, as you see under the picture of Graziani. <clears throat> and uh, uh, Mursa uh, Matru, and he was 80 miles from them. Uh, let's, see, let's get through some of that. We already mentioned it. We mentioned Albania attacking Italy. I'm just trying to lead up to the case here that more and more is happening to get this thing more and more uh, complicated for Hitler. Uh, more naval battles, Crete, I mentioned. And as I mentioned before, on the last slide, the British is now 80 miles east of those encamped uh, Italians. But they're building strength a lot quicker than the Italians are. Because the Italians were bringing stuff in at Tripoli, a thousand miles away on a coast road to this area. And the British were only coming from Alexandria, 
a few hundred miles. So the British were out doing them in supplies. But realize too, at the same time, the British had small hand look at the car. You know where the car is? The complete opposite side of Egypt in uh, West Africa. And the Vichy France at that time, the Gaulle made it out of France, went to England, and he's trying to drum up support for an invasion in Africa of his own to uh, convince the Vichy French that they should kick Hitler away and join the cause of the Allies. So he gets together a group of some uh, 20,000 troops that the Allies give him, and he attacks that Dakar in Monaco. The problem was his total failure. The Vichy French didn't seem to like him anymore, they liked Hitler, and they refused to let the Vichy, or the uh, Free French, it was called the Free French, come in to Dakar. So that was a total bust. Kenya and Sudan, this is one of the few times the Italians actually made a little ground in one of their battles. They actually got into Kenya and Sudan, where the British were, and they made some advancements there. They were soon to lose it, but in the beginning they made some. Syria and Palestine, you don't think of that being connected with this war. But the British had interests in uh, Syria and in Palestine, and that's where a lot of their raw materials came from. They didn't want to lose it. So they had that to worry about, too. Really building up. Iraq. The Germans had sent a lot of troublemakers into Iraq to try to whip up the people to kick out the, Brit the Brits who were in Iraq. Again, more troubles. Then Greece came along. Well, when Greece came along, uh, the uh, British lost their air force because the Britons at this point were in Crete. They weren't uh, kicked out yet. So uh, the British in Africa lose their air force to go to Crete. So that's more problems now that the British have. Uh, they also lost a lot of their tanks, a lot of their supplies. And keep in mind, we're all held up right close to that Egyptian border. We got the Italians on one side and the British who are now losing their stuff on the other side. Uh, but they didn't lose any land troops, we know that. 